Hello, my name is Steven George, and I play video games. Today, I'm going to be playing my favorite video game of all time, and it's Earthbound for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Released in 1995, uh, I actually got it uh, that Christmas. Um, I've been playing it since I was a kid. It has been my favorite game since I played it, and I am just absolutely in love with it. I've been in love with it for a very, very long time. Um, I have got a lot to say about this game, and I think that's why I'm most excited to play it. And I hope that that's one of the reasons you're excited to watch it, because uh, I've been heavily involved in uh, the, the... what would I say? The, the Earthbound community? Preaching the gospel of Earthbound? So, uh... We're going to get started today, and along the way, I'm going to be explaining what I've done and kind of give you a background uh, for what Earthbound has meant to me, because Earthbound is really important. Really, really freaking important. We start out by naming the characters, and I'm going to name them all their default names because that's what I do in RPGs. I really can't stand um, for them to not have their regular names. It's just a pet peeve. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Boo. Pokiska. Our dog will be King. Pokiska. The food will be Steak. Pokiska. And the thing will be Rockin'. Pokiska. Are you sure about this? Why, yes. Yes, I am. So our adventure begins. It's going to start by uh, scrolling over the town of Onnit. Some people pronounce it Onet. This is Ness's hometown. Ness is our protagonist. He's a 13-year-old boy. Um, he has developed psychic powers. Uh, he's had them since he was young. Be able, he was uh, able to bend spoons with his mind. And uh, as he's gotten older, he's learning, or he's going to learn during this adventure, to hone his abilities uh, for good. And also, you saw in that title card there, it says Eagle Land. Um, Earthbound is kind of like a play on America, um, which is uh, a little different just because it, everything in Earthbound is set in um, modern times, and most RPGs, at least at the time, uh, were not. They were set uh, in medieval ages. They had uh, swords and sorcerers and magicians and demons and all this stuff, and uh, Earthbound didn't do that. Earthbound is set in modern times. So now we're controlling Ness. Uh, he's just woken up from a huge crash outside, and he's a little confused. Although I guess he's confused as I make him, because I can make him turn around in circles. Uh, we've got $20 on us. Why he's sleeping with money, I have no idea. 30 health, uh, and uh, PP is psychic points. We have 10 of that. Offense 2, defense 2, 2 all the way down. Press A button for PSI. It's a shorthand for uh, psychic. We don't have any psychic abilities right now, but in four experience points, we will level up. No equipment, obviously. Uh, we have an ATM card. You can click help on anything, it'll show you what it is. This allows us to withdraw money, because there's actually a uh, an ATM machine that you can go to throughout the game. So, hooray, I'm Ness. And the lights come on, and right next door is my sister Tracy. Let's talk to her. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? No, I'm fine, thanks. In her room is a present. Inside the present is a cracked bat. It's the first weapon of the game. We can actually go ahead and equip that now if we'd like. And it'll raise our offense to six. Now, I'm talking a lot about, I guess, some of the technical aspects of the game, but um, to be fair, I've played through this game over 30 times. Yes. Uh, from start to finish over 30 times, so I <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> what was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. And so, this is Ness, as you probably know him. If you've never played Earthbound, well, I'm sad. And I hope that watching this Let's Play will uh, make you want to play Earthbound. Um... But you probably know Ness from Super Smash Brothers. He's in all of the Super Smash Brothers games um, for 
uh, N64, GameCube, and Wii. He's in all of the different games, and he looks like this. The red hat, the uh, blue and yellow striped shirt, uh, or purple, some people argue. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? So we've been tasked to find out what the heck is going on outside, so that's what we're going to do. Hey, I'm outside my house. Um, we're going to talk to a few people, and while we are talking to them, I am going to explain a little bit about my background with Earthbound, because I, I was talking a little bit about it, and while this stuff is mostly unimportant, we're learning about some kind of meteorite that has fallen. I am going to talk a little bit about uh, stuff I've done. So, uh, like I said, I got Earthbound whenever I was a kid. Um, I got it for Christmas. Now, it came out in the summer. I believe it came out in June. And I rented it from Blockbuster um, multiple, multiple times. And I loved it. So that Christmas, I got it for um, a present. And um, I played that game so stinking much. Uh, I remember in, uh, in, my, in second grade, I, um, I probably played it after school every single night. And uh, I remember this first town, Onet, or on it. I, uh, you, you, you should be out of the town before you're, you know, level probably 10 or so, uh, maybe 14 at the most. And I was like level 30. I just played the, the snot out of the game. Anyway, so we've come up to the top of the mountain. We can see something up there. We have a, uh, what we've been told is a meteorite. Uh, and it looks like we have uh, this annoying person here. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. That is Pokey. That is my next door neighbor. He lives uh, to the left of me in that house down there. If we could jump down, we could take a shortcut, but of course not. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? And you live in this house next to his? I see. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out of way out, get my... Oops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. You've probably noticed already that a lot of the uh, text in uh, a lot of the lines, the dialogue, I guess you could call it dialogue, in Earthbound is humorous. Um, and that is one of the appeals of the game. That is one of my favorite things about uh, Earthbound. Shh, shh. That, that was a bad example of, uh, of the writing in Earthbound. I'm not going to be talking to every single NPC in the entire game, which is why I urge you so strongly to play this game yourself. Hey, Ness. Hi, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went BOOM! It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Whoops! <laughs> I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Dun-da-da. Okay, well. Uh, now we do as Pokey said, and we return home. Now, I was telling you, I, I got the game early on. Absolutely fell in love with it. Didn't get the internet till later <laughs> later in life. Um, and there was a website that got started up. And uh, I, I, I don't want to tell you about the entire history of the site, because it was, you know, you are now Earthbound, then Earthbound.net. Eventually it became what is now known as Starman.net. And Starman.net is the number one source for Earthbound information and Earthbound discussion on the internet. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed. Um, Starmadonet had been around since uh, 2000, and there were iterations that were before that, but I joined Starman. I had been looking at it for several years, but I joined Starman. You could actually sign up and join, and I joined in 2002. And little did I know um, that this game that I loved so much was going to affect my life in such huge ways. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Okay. Pokey! I know you guys are waiting to hear how it affected my life, and I'm just <laughs> leaving you hanging, but I'll get to it. Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. 
When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Eh, sure. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Okay, sure. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it, but I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Also, I gotta say that, you know, my, my previous Let's Plays, my Let's Plays so far have been shooting games, Portal, Half-Life 2, and, uh... Left for Dead, so this is really weird to actually be reading all this text, but I like it. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Ness got the cookie. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want to hang on to some? Do you want me to hang on to something? No. Be careful. I'll do it. Yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. It's weird because I know what they're going to say before they say it. All right, you go out in front, now follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokies, join the party. Do you want me to go with you? Absolutely. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. And now King joins me. Yay. Oh, the phone. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it! Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahahaha, <laughs> slam beep. Okay, with all of that out of the way, we can actually get to the part where we fight monsters. Yay, monsters. And uh, while we're doing some generic fighting, attacking random things, I will be explaining why Earthbound means so much to me. Once I get all of that out, then, then we'll be good. Runaway dog. Um, because I don't have any other powers, I'm just going to be bashing this thing, which is the, uh, the default attack. So, Earthbound has done so, 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 so much for me. Now, I said I joined in 2002, and I started making a, a lot of friends in the community. Um, one thing about Starman.net is that it's a very... Uh, what should I say? Art, art-centered community. Um, they are, they're very, very loyal to the game, but they're also, they also make a lot of art, um, and it really got me interested in art, and particularly, uh, video. I had, I had really loved video since I was a kid, and, um, I had a video camera when I was probably 12 or so, and when I was 12, one of the first things I ever made was an Earthbound fan video, and that has been... I guess been lost in time. I've never been able to find that. Uh, here we uh, we just hit level two because the runaway dog gives you four experience points, and that's how much you need to get to level two. And we realized our first psychic power, which is Life Up Alpha, which is going to restore um, uh, nearly uh, or about a uh, hundred health, and it only costs five psychic points, so we're in pretty good shape. Also, I don't did we lose any health at all in that fight? That was a pretty amazing fight. All right, let's keep moving. Another dog. So. Starmanton is a very art-centered community, and I became more and more interested in art. And like I said, I I had been playing around with video stuff uh, when, whenever I was a kid with with my camera, but it's uh, it didn't really start to, to go anywhere. I mean, I was I was making stuff with my friends, but Starman got me really, really, really into into making videos, and I decided that what I was going to do was make a series in 2005 of uh, Earthbound related videos and I called it Slash Earthbound and uh, I, in retrospect I could have come up with a million different titles. Um, it was a terrible title because there was already a project called Slash Earthbound which was a comic and his he named it Slash Earthbound the same reason I named it Slash Earthbound because it was a uh, like a like a subdirectory of a site it was it was my site mesteven.com slash earthbound so that's why I named it that anyway it was a series of uh, public stunts that I had done um, the first one I ever did I dressed up as uh, the hint guy there's a there's a NPC in this game who you can go to and talk to and uh, you can pay him money and he'll tell you what to do next in the game in case you you don't know what to do um, so I dressed up like that, that that like that guy, 
and then I just I stood around and uh, in in public and, and filmed it. So that was that was the first video. And I ended up doing in total like 13 of these things over the years. Um, and also, it, it's not going to matter too much if we die uh, because we're we're right at the beginning of the game. Um, if 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 we if we don't die, then that's awesome. But if we do die, you know whatever. We don't we don't really have anything to lose at this point. And we're going to go ahead and use Life Up Alpha for the first time. There we go. It's going to max out our health back at 33. We're going to keep heading up this mountain. So I uh, I made I made these videos in 2005 until about 2007, and uh, I mean this this really just got things to uh, got me interested in video, you know. Period. Oh, oof! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Um, after I I got so interested in video, um, I was doing more and more and more and more, and it was getting a little ridiculous. I was doing so much video. And I'm going to have to stop talking for a second until we get past this part, because this is actually a pretty big deal. This is uh, Pokey's little brother, Picky, who we uh, set out to find. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Picky joined you. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Uh, no. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Well, now I hear it. A bee I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future... All is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is in my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. And now, our friend BuzzBuzz Buzz joins us. BuzzBuzz Buzz now joins you. Ness, looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Okay, so now we have our, our little beginning party um so i continue to make videos and you know a lot of them were earthbound centered um i became very 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 involved in the starman.net community got really interested in art um learned photoshop so i it just basically i became interested in art because of earthbound uh you know in a roundabout way you could say that um it was starman.net the people in starman.net that got me interested in 2007 it was time to go to college. Earthbound helped me that way too, but first, <laughs> we have to deal with this guy. It's been a long time, BuzzBuzz. Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but, BuzzBuzz, Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. This is the first boss battle of the game, indicated by that little swirly diamond thing, and we are fighting a Starman Jr. This is the only Starman Jr. you will fight in the entire game. Um, I think, believe he has 200 hit points, uh, and he would, under normal circumstances, cream us and uh, turn us into little salt cubes. But anyway, um, we don't have to worry about too much because Buzz Buzz is on our side. He possesses a lot of uh, awesome abilities to protect us, so we're just going to bash. Or defend, really. Any, any, anything would be fine. I'll just bash. 
So he's going to use his Psychic Shield, which will protect us. We are protected. Picky is going to do a Smash Attack of 2 damage. Smash Attacks are the critical hits in this game. We've done 6 damage. He's going to try a Fire Beta move, and the Shield makes the attack go away. So while this is playing out... And, uh, oh, you can see, you can see Buzz Buzz does a lot of damage, which is why we're going to be able to take care of the guy so easily. Alright, freeze. In 2007, um, it was time to go to college. And there was an, there was a, 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 a thread on the Starman.net forums about, you know, people who are going to college and, and what college were you going to attend and stuff. And I had posted that I had decided on SCAD. Now, this is important. This is a very interesting thing to note. SCAD is the Savannah College of Art and Design in Savannah, Georgia. It is an art school. The only reason I ended up going there was because of Starman.net, because of Earthbound, because I didn't really have an interest in art before that. Um, and it was Earthbound that, that, you know, pushed me forward. Whew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Alright, so now that we have our everybody, uh, we're ultimately trying to take Pokey and Picky home. So let's take them home. Do, 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 do. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Ouch. It's interesting to note that that noise in the Japanese version was much more... Uh, terrorsome. Is terrorsome a word? I don't know, I just made up the word terrorsome. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's a story of our life. Hey! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh, that's not good. Ah, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man, and no, oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Ugh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Sound Stone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good! It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Arr! <gasps> Ness got the soundstone. And so, Buzz Buzz, who was using psychic powers to, you know, keep us from certain death with the Starman Jr., died because he got hit by Lard and a Minch. These are the Minches. Uh, some of that's not clear. Pokey and Picky Minch, and uh, Aloysius and Lardna Minch. The names are not really that important. When we step outside, something beautiful will happen. It's been so long that it's already daytime! Hot oh, dang. When we go to visit back home, we're going to be visited. By a very special man, the Photo Man. Ding. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And there he goes. Anyway, back into the house. 
Now, was there a reason to stop by? Well, no, other than the fact that I want to replenish my health. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now, you look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. Hooray for getting our health back. Even though I don't know if we had... Yeah, we didn't have any health loss, but we needed that 5 PP. Love myself some PP. Alright, and to save your game... If you remember from talking to my father earlier, we go up to the phone. Call Dad. Yes, it's your dad. I deposited $34 into your bank account. Taking away is what you spent, you should now have 64. Experience to get the next level will be 13. I want to record my game. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure. Good night, sleep tight. End. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. Alright. Now, at this point, the game freezes. And uh, if you hit continue, you would be able to continue playing, but I'm actually done. Whenever you hit end, it freezes the game and tells you to literally turn the power off the Super Nintendo. However, I'm not through talking to you, and I know it is a. Uh, we're already at 25 minutes in the video, and at this point, if you are just watching for gameplay purposes, feel free to shut it off. However, I am going to use this time, since I like being able to <laughs> take the time to explain things, to talk a little bit more about what Earthbound has done for me, because this is this is what I'm going to explain it right now. So. Whenever I was looking on that forum topic, I was looking at other people who were, you know, going to the school. And like I said, I was going to an art school, which was a big deal because Earthbound had done this. Earthbound and Starman.net, the community, was uh, what got me into art. Uh, I was really into Photoshop. I really liked design. I really liked graphics. And I was considering doing graphic design or film. Um, and SCAD offered both of those. So I was like, well, you know, no matter which one I choose, I can go to this school. But I was looking at this forum topic for all the people that were going to school and they were saying where they were going and there was one particular user uh wasabi milkshake who had stated that he was also going to scad and we were the same age so we were going to be going to the same place so i contacted him and i said hey uh you know couldn't help but know you're going to scad i'm going to scad too and i need a roommate so what do you think about rooming together he was like you know well that sounds fine better to know someone at least a little bit than be completely random not sure what you're going to get so we um, that's what we did <laughs> we decided to room together uh his name is alex he's if you watch my vlog videos he's you know we've lived together now for four years because i'm in my senior year of college uh, and he got seven weeks left and i'll be out of college um but i've i've lived with alex for four years now and he has become uh, my best friend um so i really i mean i owe i owe my 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 college roommate experience which has been you know great and one of my best friends ever to earthbound but it doesn't stop there it doesn't it does not it, it does not even begin uh to, to scratch the surface with what earthbound has done um now like i said i had made a lot of friends through uh through the site and uh i actually joined the staff in uh i think i think maybe 2007 and uh, I was invited to the Starman.net conventions, which are very small conventions, uh, normally about 30 to 50 people. Um, so I actually got to meet these people in person, uh, the other members of the staff and the forum moderators, and they're such wonderful people. And um, it was just nice to have, you know, an even tighter group of friends. Um, in 2007, after I had come to school and met uh, Mr. Wasabi Milkshake, Alex, um, me and a group of some other Starman.netters decided to start a radio program. Uh, I guess you could call it that. It's a, a, a radio program. It was called Fobbies or Borange. Um, and it was a retelling of Earthbound through audio. And uh, you can listen to it now. It's um, on fobbiesorborange.com, and I'll, I'll link that in the description. And if I don't, someone remind me, because sometimes I forget to do that. Um, but we it took about a year, and uh, we worked on it for a year, but... You know, in that year, we went through the entire game. It actually spawned a spin-off series for uh, the first game, Earthbound Zero, uh, also known as Mother One, and that was called that that spin-off series was called Lords Are Not Christmas. So we ended up doing you know two series, uh, and then there was a third series. So it, it, it kept going on and on. But I think you get the point. But Fobbies Are Born was uh, was a really huge undertaking, and we finished it. We actually did the entire game of Earthbound on audio and it's hilarious we wrote it um it was myself uh mr benjamin carignan uh which I, I it's not the way you pronounce his last name but i think it's more fun uh who is known online as katan uh and then a third person um 
Mr. Uh, uh, Matilda Caboose, that's his screen name, uh, also known as Martin Tovar. Uh, the three of us um, kind of spearheaded the project, and then we had another fourth person join us um, uh, named Muhammad, and he played the role of Pooh. So we, we had all these characters, and we actually played through Earthbound. Um, that was a huge undertaking, and we it, it just... The community loved it so much, and uh, I have a feeling that if you guys have already played Earthbound, you would love it. I wouldn't recommend listening to it without going through the game first, so... If you're interested, that's great. Wait until you watch the entire Let's Play. When we get through this entire game. Then, only then, should you, you listen to the series, I think. <laughs> um, the biggest thing that Earthbound did for me was, in early 2008, I started talking to this girl that I met on Starman.net. Her name was Mallory. And uh, we talked for a while, and we got to know each other better, and one thing led to another. And uh, we started dating. Now, one of the things to remember is that at this time, I'm in South Carolina, or Georgia, is where my school was, and she's in Wisconsin. She's a thousand miles away. Literally, a thousand. And um, we had this relationship, and it was thanks to Earthbound. Uh, but, you know, we were so far apart. We actually met that June, after dating for three months. Um, and things kind of fell into place. Then we dated for a year. And uh, dated even longer. And then last summer, uh, July 2010, I proposed to Mallory. Uh, and we're getting married in August. And I know I threw a lot of information at you guys. And I know you guys have been sitting here watching Ness's butt for like, you know, six minutes now. But it's, it's relevant information because Earthbound really, really, really does mean this much to me. Um, I'm getting married in August to the woman of my dreams, and it is because of Earthbound. This game is magic. Uh, you know, I've met so many people. Uh, I'm interested in art. Another, another thing worth mentioning is, you know, I was saying I made so many videos about Earthbound. Um, I used a lot of those videos in Earthbound when I applied for a scholarship for SCAD, and I was awarded $48,000 in SCAD. And that's thanks to Earthbound also. I mean, although, I mean, you know, I, I did the work on them and I made them. But at the same time, the subject matter, Earthbound, was, you know, my inspiration for, for working so hard at doing everything. I love this game. And uh, this Let's Play is just getting started. But I wanted to explain all this, this in this first episode so you really kind of know where my heart is with this because this game means a lot to me. I mean, I'm, I'm getting married to the woman of my, of my dreams in August because of this game. Uh, I know my best friend because of this game. I have met so many people. It has affected my life. It affected my career, you know, coming to SCAD and, and focusing in art. Everything. So many aspects of my life because of this game. So, I know we've, we've been sitting here for a long time, but I appreciate it if you've, if you've sat here and watched it because it actually is going to give you a pretty good idea of know my mindset playing through this game this game means a lot to me and i hope that by the end uh you will be able to experience the magic and joy that earthbound has brought to me um, ever since i caught it in uh in 95 so these what 12 no wait dear god no how many how many are we on 15 16 16 years dear god going on 16 years this this summer okay so 15 years <laughs> A lot of Earthbound. A lot of, a lot of good memories. Anyway, that wraps it up for this Let's Play episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I know it's been long, but I appreciate it if you watched. And tune in next time when we will attack on it. No, not, not literally. We'll attack the, the enemies and on it. We're good. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>